Hi, cottage friends, and welcome to Cottage Necessities. So let me ask you a question. What can you think of that goes better together than handcrafted foods and beautiful vintage porcelain? Well, today I'd like to share with you some of my tips and tricks on styling your food with vintage plates. Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you. I went to the thrift store today. And you know how I'm always taking pictures of food on different plates and I just think it makes a difference what you show your photographs on. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an inside peek at my process and um, share that with you. So this one is a, called Harvest. It's from Germany and it's a beautiful porcelain plate with a gold rim. And it's not really my style, but I got it because my grandson's coming to visit and I'm going to make him a peanut butter chocolate pie. <laughs> and I'm doing the Nelly Belly Pie Contest right now, pie challenge, so this will be pretty with the chocolate pie photographed on it. Isn't it just divine? Anyway, that one, and then I got this one. This will be fun to photograph something on. It's such a pretty place. Also got a little bit of gold in it. It's got some pretty greens, which I love the greens and the pinks and the reds. Okay, here's another one. I wasn't sure if this was quite my style, but it is very cottagey, cottagey. And I thought, wouldn't that be cool with like a nice berry pie on it or something similar? These were just each a dollar, but now here's a beautiful kind of a Bavarian uh, china, and it is so gorgeous. This one cost me three dollars, and it has more gold on it. It's just um, got the lilacs and the, I don't know what those are, some kind of tea roses or something. Pretty though. Anyway, I've already washed these. Now I'm showing them to you. Here's another one of a similar type of Bavarian style. And it's all, it looks like it's all hand painted, but it's beautiful porcelain. I don't know, you can't really see that, but it will be pretty with some kind of pie showing on it. It's got the greens and the pinky oranges that I like. And then this one, this one will be pretty with like cookies displayed or it's got the little handles here and all roses on this one. It's very cottage necessity style with the, um, the raised kind of filigree detailing on it. Anyway, this was one of my favorites kind of in the decorating mood and I found this one this is a tin plate 50 cents it's got some gold it's a copy it's a reproduction copy of I'll show you it was made in England here it goes here we go and it was for the Wallace collection from London this plate was originally dated back to 1766. So, um, recorded in an inventory in 1842 for the Marquis, uh, the Marquess, the third Marquess of Hertford. And that's um, English, an English tin. So, um, hope you enjoyed my, my beautiful pieces that I found. Since I love a good pie challenge, I've been doing cooking challenges over the past two years with the Nelly Belly Kitchen. Check her blog out. It's all for fun. No skills required. It's all a learning experience and we just have fun. And I've also wanted to improve my food photography skills. And she offers a free course, or she did. I don't know if she still does, but she offered a free course on food photography, which I took. And I've done a lot of practicing on these plates and these are some of the things that I've made now the Easter egg I made at home with my friend Susie Q 
And I made this delicious banana bread, pomegranate cheesecake, albondiga soup. I love making soups. These were Italian love muffins, cherry cheesecake blossoms, chopped salad, keto-friendly nutty cookies, fat bombs, blueberry fat bombs, keto-friendly chaffles with fresh berries, And these are just some of the table settings I've done on some previous videos where I show you how to do the napkin folds or even make a pretty napkin stamped with IOD transfers. Just pairing colors and patterns and mixing things up to create something you love. This is a house I styled in Naples, looking over the lake. Grandma's Molasses Cookies, one of my favorites. Salted Caramel Pie. Fresh cherries for an appetizer. Strawberry Pie. The perfect crust. And sometimes just hanging plates on the walls is a big win. Mixing things together for Christmas. Think outside the box and have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching my video.